What's up? Tacoma Comics here, and I've got a mini haul for you. This is not really a haul in the sense that I went out and got these books. This is a haul in the sense that my good friend, Poor Man Comics, go sub him up, give him a look, give him a listen. I ain't going to put his information because I'm too lazy to do that. I'm just going to make a video. But he uh, sent me a bunch of stuff, and see, do I have anything else down here? Um, yeah, I'll show some random stuff as well. But most of this is from Poor Man's Comics. I bought some stuff for him, but he also hit me up with some uh, AOKs. You remember those? AOKs, because I sent him one about mid-COVID. <laughs> so it's been a couple of years, but it's all good. It's all good because he's a good guy. So anyway, um, you know my love for Han. So to show off the most recent Hans that I got, uh, Daughter of Blade Bloodline. Not my favorite Hans, not my least favorite Hans, but like every Hans, right? You, you see this, you see this, but then you look closer, you're like, ooh, there's more going on in the faded background. That's so typical of first style, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, Nate the Great, actually it's Nate's comics, but I'm going to call him Nate the Great. Uh, got a little package of stuff from him. The uh, one that I appreciate the most there is this connecting one because I love me some champions. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And if you look around the room, obviously you can't because your position is static. But if you looked around the room, you would um, see a lot of connecting comics on the wall because I like displaying those. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. This is from Poor Man. Disposable razors. Now... No idea why he sent this to me. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. Signed by a bunch of creators, too. So I don't know much about that comic, but I appreciate it all the same. Now, here comes a trend. And this is not a bad thing. This shows how much a poor man comics knows me. Sent me this Scarlet Witch Woman of Power variant, issue 4. But it's beautiful, and it's awesome, and I love it. He knows that I'm collecting these um, homages. And it's not an homage to X-Men 130-whatever. X-Men 130-whatever actually is an homage to an early Superman book, which a lot of people don't know. Um, it was actually a Superman book that started this trend. But anyway, this Eros and Psyche, which is a great cover, and he actually pointed me on to this about two, three years ago. But in the meantime, I've already gotten that one. However, I did not have this Gen 13 homage, which is very cool. Because I am uh, all about collecting these. Someday I'll do a video just on these. I got like 20, 25 of them. It's pretty cool. And it says, uh, I'm sorry, but I have to quit the team. And that's the whole thing. These homages are about somebody leaving with the group standing in back of them. It's pretty cool. I know nothing about Emily and the Strangers, but I'm kind of cool to read about that. I know nothing about this Comic Tom 101 special to Claire and the Dragons, but it is a Dr. Seuss Cat in the Hat homage, so it's cool. Now this one, man, I actually sold all of my Spawn newsstand because I was finding it too hard to finish. Maybe I gave up a little too early, I don't know. But these are two awesome books. Beautiful condition. Um, Spawn Newsstand, 91 and 92. Very, very hard to find books. Very coveted books. Those books are coveted. Another one that I have, <laughs> Royal City Number 1. Um, Jeff Lemire, just, he just writes great stories about like everyday people and stuff. Uh, really, really great storyteller. Um, I don't know if this is a uh, variant or not. I don't think so. But each issue um, had a variant that had like an homage to a 90s band. And I think that's a little Kurt Cobain-ish looking there. But I don't think that's actually supposed to be like a Nirvana homage. But like there, is a, there was definitely a whole one I remember. Um, a Sonic Youth one and a couple others. Lumberjanes Virgin Variant to issue 6. Great, great book. I love Lumberjanes. Been collecting them forever. Got it. Sorry. Do, 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 do. I'm putting these in order. The order that I want to show you. Now this, check this out. I do not have this, and I've wanted this for the longest time. Champions. This is from the second volume of the current Champions, which I guess makes it volume like three. 
Uh, but issue three, this is by Elsa Chartier, who's an amazing artist. And this is just a great, great cover that I have wanted for a while. Very excited for that. Totally digging on that. Very nice. Know nothing about this, but I love the cover. It's like this, you know, ghost-looking gooey guy in blind Willie Johnson there. Man, that's just, ooh, I like that cover. God Shaper by Simon Spurrier. Here's a number one, one of the many, many, many um, store exclusives that Lumberjanes did when it launched. Love this going down the falls in a canoe. Um, and it's signed to Monica. Uh, I won't say the author's name because that is their dead name. But uh, I actually met them recently and had them re-sign a bunch of new number ones with their, um, with their chosen name now. And D. Stevenson. Um, so still, that's pretty sweet and much appreciated. Don't know much about this except this book's from 1982. And that in and of itself makes it pretty cool. I saw it. The Atomic Bombing of Hiroshima. So little, um, these are edu comics, and I am a teacher. I don't know where it says edu comics. It said itself right at the top there. Boop, edu comics. So that's pretty cool. A little graphic uh, story retelling. Don't know why Jupiter's Legacy issue two is in there. I'll have to check if that's a special variant or something. Um, this Quake is a really nice book. I don't have this one. I have the. Um, 50th anniversary uh, connecting variant version of this. So this is a nice one to have. I have a crush on crush. Love that character. Um, very cool. I don't know. This is Jason or or Knight Drake or, or Robin Hood. Or I don't know who this is. One of the Robin characters. I don't know anything about DC. But I know I like crush. <laughs> All right. Then there's the books I actually bought from him on his recent sale. If you don't know, definitely check it out when a poor man's comics puts up a sale because he's got a lot of books. He gets a lot of triplicates and doubles. And he's always willing to make a deal. Um, so I got a set. This is my second set of Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir. But I'm really glad I got a second set because I think like issue four, I have a newsstand. And the reason I got that is because this was the last book that Dark Horse wrote or published um, when Marvel took over Star Wars in 2015. This came in out, out in like 2013. So I've got issue four in a newsstand, which would be the very last newsstand Star Wars comic ever produced. It's not in great condition, but I'm never getting rid of it because it's the very last newsstand Star Wars comic ever produced. But now I got a nicer set. So here's number one, first appearance of Rook Cast, who some people think might be the armorer. Uh, first appearance of Gar Saxon and a whole bunch of others. Right there, we have um, Hulk 98, which is signed kind of sloppily by Greg Pak. Um, but still, it's a very, very cool cover. I'm digging that. Um, that's part of the Planet Hulk storyline, I believe. Issue 2, first appearance of Mother Talzin and the Night Sisters. Um, and then in issue 3 and 4, there are also some other first appearances. So... A great set to get if you do not have Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir. The only Dark Horse stories from the 1990-whatever until uh, 2014. The only Dark Horse stories that Marvel considers part of Star Wars canon. Now, everything else is Star Wars Legends. Um, been trying to finish this run off forever, but I got that. Fraction number nine, sorry, Hawkeye number nine. Um, just the beautiful, beautiful David Aha covers and Hawkeye 11. You know, this is a nothing book until the uh, the show came out. And then like, Lucky the Pizza Dog or Pizza Dog, whatever his name is. Um, is it Lucky the Pizza Dog or is it just Pizza Dog? I can't remember. Anyway, issue 11. It's a hard issue to, to find for like a, a decent amount. Um, so I was lucky to get that. These prices are... I'm sure he gave it to me for less than that. And then finally, if you look on the wall above there, I've got like all these modern teams and modern, um, modern like, uh, you know, heroes, first appearances. So I don't know if you can see down there. It looks, my camera looks kind of wackadoodle. But I've got like, you know, St um, Strange Academy. I've got uh, Champions. I've got Thunderbolt somewhere over there. Right. And then coming down along here, I've got. Runaways, I've got uh, 
Moon Girl, Captain Marvel, uh, Carol Danvers becomes Captain Marvel, Gwen Stacy, and on and on through all the champions, Miles and Kamala and all that. Um, so one thing that I did not have that I consider like to go in that top row, I did not have Next Wave. And I now do have Next Wave. And I think um, this is Photon and uh, Elsa Bloodstone. And I'm not exactly sure who all the characters in this team are, which is one of the reasons why I got it and I'm excited for it. But I thought it was a nice um, book to complement that lineup there, even though it's written by the unmentional Ellis. Um, still a book that I wanted to have. So that's that thank you very much poor man's comics i do greatly appreciate it and everything that you do like i said go sum them up and i'll see you all next time later